So I'm going to do something new today. Uh, I'm going to stream Hitman. Uh, I've never streamed Hitman before. I've made some videos about it, uh, but for me, you know, Hitman is such uh, sort of uh, a mentally and emotionally engaging experience. I don't usually do it while I'm also trying to entertain people on a stream. Uh, I like to get really deeply uh, sort of invested in each of these levels. And actually, I've got a really bad habit of working so hard to maximize each level as I go, that I end up making no progress. You know, one of the great things about running the stream has been the fact that I basically have no Steam backlog. I play like every single Steam game I pick up on a sale. I play all of them because I'm, I'm constantly turning games through uh, this stream uh, to make sure that I've seen them all, make sure that I've learned everything I can from them, that I've analyzed them all, that sort of thing. But that's got a downside, which is games that I normally spend a lot of time on and deeply invest in end up actually getting left by the wayside. So I'm only a couple of levels into Hitman 2, one of my favorite games, and Hitman 3 is about to come out. So clearly I'm doing something wrong. So uh, I've decided to let go of my obsessive desire to get absolutely every single drop out of every single Hitman level, and instead... I'm going to try to be a little bit more casual about it. I'm willing to have an imperfect playthrough just so that I can see all of these levels and experience this entire thing before it's now, you know, <laughs> uh, followed on by a new sequel. Now, each sequel in the latest Hitman franchise actually does roll up the previous games in it, so I don't technically have to do this. I could play Hitman 2 as a part of Hitman 3 when it comes out in just like a week. Um, but, you know, I've, I've just got this weird feeling of, you know, how can I call myself a Hitman fan if I'm not actually playing Hitman games with everyone else? So, uh, with all of that said, uh, I'm going to start up the Three-Headed Serpent, uh, which I believe is the third big level in, uh, in Hitman 2. Might even be the second. That might be uh, how little progress I have made. So, all right, I think we'll probably... Okay, we got to do some planning here. I don't think I've got room to smuggle in items yet. Yeah, so the, uh, the ability to smuggle in items uh, is unlocked as you make progress in a level. I've only got the one pistol. Like, see, I, I have not uh, unlocked anything at all. I might have a few more options here. Oh, a fish. Um, yes, absolutely. We're going to carry a fish with us and and some coins. And that's all we've got access to right now. That's, uh, that's how little I've played this game. So, hmm, let's see here. Okay, I guess professional is the difficulty level we want. Okay, so I've selected it, so now I hit play. See, again, I'm not even accustomed to the UI. Uh, I started playing Hitman 2 a couple of months ago after I finally finished the last couple levels of Hitman 1 this past year. Um, and uh, and so, but I, I, I haven't been playing it frequently enough. And so you're going to see me fumble with the controls, not quite know what I'm doing. Uh, and that's just how it's going to have to be. Huh. So, uh, Ranathcord says, uh, I started playing Autonauts on Steam last night, and I think it'll scratch your chill with no narrative game itch. Okay, I'll have to check out Autonauts. Thank you, Ranathcord. And he hello to everybody else, by the way. Voodoo Roll, Lyric Page, uh, Texas Digital Gaming. Welcome to Columbia, oh. Let's listen. The remote village of Santa Fortuna awaits you deep inside the Colombian rainforest. An iron-fisted Delgado cartel rules over the village and its surroundings. Security around Santa Fortuna and the closed-off cartel compound is extremely tight. Armed Sicarios patrol the streets of the village, ready to enforce harsh punishments to those who do not comply. Rumors persist of hidden transportation cave systems connecting the village, the cartel compound, and the hidden coca fields beyond. It is a rare occurrence to have all three cartel leaders present in the village at the same time. Expect that all targets are protected by scrupulous killers, armed with automatic weapons. Rico Delgado inhabits his fortified mansion on the outskirts of the village, while Andrea Martinez can be found in her village office, or around Santa Fortuna itself. And Jorge Franco is engaged in development of a new drug in his field laboratory. Happy hunting, 47. 
All right, we'll take down the volume again. Uh, real quick, uh, Itzy Boy Lewis asks if I've played Watch Dogs 2 Legion. Uh, yeah, yes, I have. I actually got a couple of videos about them that you can uh, you can check out if you're interested. Um, okay, so I'm gonna try to again. I've I've forgotten a lot about uh, this game. It's HUD, it's controls. So I think that the upper right is actually probably where my head belongs. We'll find out if that's true. Uh, so I only have a couple of hours, which means we're probably not going to see me execute a uh, a really impressive assassination here today. In fact, we might only go so far as to uh, as to scout the area, learn about some of the ways that we could kill people, uh, and not even complete the mission. That's it. that's often the way I play Hitman is 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 that way. I'll, I'll do a lot of scouting up front before I even attempt uh, to complete it. So. Real quick, I just want to look over this map and understand what's going on. So, okay, so I'm here in this village area. One of my targets has got uh, an office in the corner here, so I've got to worry about that. And then another one of my targets is up here in what looks like some kind of manor house. And then that is connected to the lab. These are both up from me. Uh, so it looks like I could either you know, take care of things in the village and then come up to the manor house and then go from there to the lab. Or it might be possible to get through what looks like a cave network to get through to the lab first and then go in to the manor house from the back door. I'm not sure which is going to seem most feasible. We've also got uh, these little areas over here that are undiscovered. I, I don't actually remember if they mark in advance the um, killing opportunities that you can run across, but we'll see what we find. So it looks like I'm heading the right direction uh, for for the first, possibly easiest kill of the list. Hey, man. That looks pretty fun, actually. So the way that Hitman works is they basically have uh, these clockwork levels where... Oh, I'm trespassing. That guy's probably gonna be mad at me. Oh, but, but he's probably got a cool outfit. I feel like I should get this cool outfit. I generally avoid killing people uh, when I can. And I'm not exactly sure why. Like, uh, I know that they're fake people. And I know that I'm playing a hitman. Like, I'm supposed to be a character who doesn't mind killing people. Also, I've forgotten how to um, not be crouching. There we go. Oh, I don't have a lockpick or a key. Oh, but this is telling me... Uh, there's some kind of opportunity down there. Hmm. Can I get down there from here? Oh, yeah, I can. All right. So, uh, Fadope says, Hitman has weapons. I'd run in and try to pew-pew at everything. So, whenever I get into huge trouble in this game, I will just shoot my way out and then reload, is usually what I do. So I, I will kill, I will murder a lot of people, but they never happen in the real timeline. Normally, my real timeline involves minimal deaths, um, Hollywood non-lethal takedowns. Ooh. Maybe he's here to see that Delgado guy we've been hearing about. Sounds like he's got money to spare. So, P power. Celebrity tattooist of Tattoo Torment fame has come to Santa Fortuna, presumably to work his magic on Rico Delgado, a known ink enthusiast. Sounds like an invitation to the mansion, 47. Are you feeling expressive? Okay, so they didn't used to do that in the this in the early Hitmans. You actually had to just find all these yourself, but they put so much work into creating these sort of like different stories that you can follow in order to uh, in order to perform some of the more interesting kills that uh, with with the new uh, generation of Hitman, they've started actively highlighting these and, and making sure that, that if you don't want to miss them, you won't miss them. Could be. <gasps> Lucky guy. So uh, A&J Bolt says uh, that, that they're liking the new stream time. Thank you. Uh, I, I'm liking it too, actually, though. I'm starting to get worried that I'm actually producing so many videos now because I'm streaming basically at least twice as much as I was before. Uh, I'm, I'm concerned that I might actually be uh, producing so many videos that uh, no one can watch them. But <laughs> because, you know, I don't spend the time to edit them or anything like that. You just get the raw, 
the raw stream when you're watching me on YouTube later on. Okay, so if I had a lockpick unlocked, I could get through that gate no problem. Um, but I don't. And so I'm going to have to either find another way in or find a key. If, the, if I wanted to sort of sneak into this place and reconnoiter. Now, I have highlighted this uh, mission opportunity, but it's for Rico Delgado. And I think I'm here with in the Andrea Martinez challenge. And so I don't know if I'm interested in actually following that up right now. Uh, luckily, what am I doing? Luckily, I can unhighlight that anytime I want to and then, then come back to it. So if I don't want to uh, follow Deadly Art, I don't have to. I can just unfollow it. I'll come back to it later. You know, I didn't even think about that. And actually, you know, I'm free to try to find one that's about Andrea Martinez. And uh, that one, like, there's, okay, there's a backpacker? What's this? Oh, wait a minute. Oh, maybe I can't activate them from this menu. Oh, maybe, maybe when I'm playing it, oh, no, here we go. I just, I just hit the button in the wrong place. So let's, let's look at backpacker. What's this? Okay, that one's not that far off. It looks like it's probably in town. So that, I believe, is Maria Delgado's office. Oh, and it looks like there is a way that I could sneak in. If that's... if, if I, I think I don't want this guy to see me do it, though. So, okay, rather than following that mission story, let's see what we can do just improvising. So... Uh, I'm trying to remember. There we go. What? What? I don't think anyone else is watching that entrance. Oh, he's not going to leave his post? Really? Oh, come on. What kind of video? Oh, that guy's got it. Okay. Too close to that dude. <laughs> I wonder, can I pick it up? Or did I? Oh, it looks like when I toss the can, it goes away. All right. Well, you know what? Hmm. This isn't my real playthrough. Maybe I don't mind a little bit of mayhem. Oops, didn't mean to drop that. <laughs> Again, I've forgotten how things work. So, for now, for now, I'm a vicious, ruthless hitman. Later on, I'll figure out ways to get in here uh, without killing anyone. So I'm going to dump him in there. And then... Oh, wait, can I not get his outfit? Oh, I thought I could get his outfit. Ah, well, that's going to make sneaking in as a guard much harder. Those are just coins. I've got those. All right, well, since I've kind of decided not to follow the mission stories and just to explore, I'm going to unhighlight that. Let's use our sort of sixth sense to make sure no one's watching this door. Oop, let's hide. Okay, nobody's watching from up there oh wait so oh oh there's a security camera watching me oh wow okay I didn't realize that security camera was there I don't know how this is gonna go holy crap this place is higher security than I expected. Um, oh, she... She just left, huh? Okay, I wonder... Can I, like... Can I, like, shoot this thing? Oh, oh, wow! They can see me. Sorry, everybody. Oh, let's just get out of here. Ah, how do you how do you not crouch? There we go. Oh, I'm almost dead. <laughs> okay, so that's what guards look like. 
Good to know. I think that guy up front was not actually a guard. He was just a potential witness. That's fine. That's fine. This is how this is how we play Hitman 2. We try stuff, we find out what's hard, and then we change our minds and we do something else. This is another reason why I haven't streamed this before, because uh, I am a little bit worried that my pattern of playing Hitman 2 would not be fun to watch. Because what I do is I just try things and then tr start over. Try things and then start over. So if that's not what you want to watch, uh, wait, don't don't play this to me again. All right, here we go. Okay, so that was not, that was not uh, emphatically how to get into that place. Um, okay, let's look at the map again. Okay, so left turn is what I want to do. Okay, let's look around again. Okay, so we know how to get this worker's uniform. I don't know what kind of worker he is exactly or what his job is, but that's pretty easy to do. The thing that's fun about Hitman is just sort of like exploring every nook and cranny and realizing the amount of work they put into just making all of these little details and all of these options. I remember I really wanted to... Um, to make a Hitman game uh, back when, uh, a long time ago, back when I was working on licensed games uh, almost exclusively. And, um, you know, I, I just had all these ambitions for like, oh, someday my studio is going to make original games. And uh, one of the things that I really wanted to do uh, was make, you know, my, my studio was very against making violent games. And so I couldn't make a game like Hitman, obviously. But... I imagined making um, a, a Hitman-inspired game that would be where you play as a paparazzo, um, and so you do all the same amount of like sneaking around, subterfuge, uh, you know, ruining people's lives, but with a camera instead of a gun. Okay, there's a little shop up here. That's cool. All right, let's see here. So Fidope says, uh, when I'm sitting here, I've got a lot of anxiety about putting out too many videos. And Fidope says, and most people will probably only watch certain games. Uh, so having too many videos is probably not a thing if you play different games in them. As long as people don't resent me for uh, cluttering up their feed. Like some people like to have a really, really clean feed that doesn't have uh, a ton of distractions in it. And uh, if, if they see me as spam, I, I do worry that I might annoy them. Uh, and I, I don't really want to do that. But you are right that, I mean, uh, this does definitely give people the freedom to sort of say, oh, well, I'm interested in this game. I'm not in that game. And, you know, maybe that'll help uh, tell me a little bit better, you know, what people are, uh, what people are interested in, what they're not. Certainly, I've noticed that playing, you know, open world games, things like um, Far Cry, for instance, uh, does tend to go over better than uh, sort of random uh, emotional indie games. But... That doesn't mean I'm going to stop playing random emotional indie games. I'll just expect them to have a smaller audience, and that's okay. Okay, so I came here again. So it seems like uh, turning off that camera <laughs> or by shooting it, not a good plan. Uh, it also seems like, uh, tr like trying to do... Basically, I, I should not try to take out that guard. That guard is someone to avoid, not someone to try to take out and replace. Okay, it looks like... There's a thing I can drop on someone's head up there. And, oh, wait. Can I drop those coconuts on someone's head? <gasps> I don't know. Okay, so let's let's try to attract this dude again. What? I didn't... It wasn't me. Okay, so you're just not going to walk over there? You're going to be like a normal person and not walk over to every noise that you see? Every noise that you hear? Okay, so I assumed that because this guy was over here... Oh, wait, I can't put him in there. I assumed because this guy was over by this uh, this wall, I assumed he was a guard, and then he was working, you know, sort of in plain clothes for the cartel. But he's not. He's just some random dude. So murdering him just doesn't feel like a good idea. And that's why I can't change you to his outfit. His outfit is meaningless. Um, there's nothing about his outfit that uh, makes him special. And so there's no point in changing into it. It's no different from the outfit I'm already wearing. Okay, so this time, before going over this wall, because I do think this is something I want to do, I'm going to save. So the original Hitman series from, uh, you know, last decade, two decades ago, um, 
it was uh, it, it limited your saves. Just like basically the difficulty level um, determined how many saves you got. In fact, I think that's still true, though. I think they've pushed it up into the higher difficulty levels. Um, okay. So I don't want the camera to see me. I have to be very careful about where I go. Uh, but and you know it was during an era where there were a lot of debates going on um in the game development community about whether every game should allow you to save at any time and the thing about hitman was being able to just save every two seconds uh would kind of ruin the sense of tension and so rather than let people sort of ruin their own experience they let you do that at the lowest difficulty levels but at higher difficulty levels you actually had to very carefully decide okay strategically when am i going to place these checkpoints for myself and then you have to actually execute a series of actions uh, in a row successfully, which does actually make you feel way more like a hitman than just save crawling your way through the game. <laughs> so Andres Muller uh, points out that one good thing that he, that he feels like I'm doing is uh, when I do super long streams, I cut the stream up into multiple videos so that, uh, you know, if somebody's interested in one game and not another, uh, they're not sort of uh, trapped, sort of scrubbing through my video to find the, the stuff they're interested in. Uh, each video is about a single game and a single session in a single game. Uh, so good. I'm glad that that's working for you. I, that's, I just kind of instinctively figured that that's how I would want to watch things. And so that's how I did it. So I'm glad that's working for you. Okay, so she is in the next room with one other person. And I believe that the guard that's in the middle of the screen right now is outside the door. So... If I come here at the right time, when she's out of the room, if I can get rid of that dude, I could be the only one in the room with her, probably. Problem is, I don't know how to get rid of that dude. Okay, so I've turned on this electrical outlet. What does the electrical outlet do? It turns on the fan? Okay, and I can expose a wire here. I don't actually know who comes in here, though. Under what circumstances. Ah, okay. So what I actually want to do is turn this off so it's not electrocuting anyone. I'll create a water leak. This is a very useful screwdriver. So if someone comes in here, I could turn on that plug to kill them in an apparent accident. Question is, is anyone going to come in here? And where did Andrea go? <laughs> Andrea might have just completely left. Oh, wait, no, she's upstairs. Okay. So I don't know if she comes into this room or not. It feels like... I don't know. This feels like it's set up for her specifically to come in there thing is, sometimes a character just comes into a, to a place just as a part of their normal routine, and sometimes you have to actually do something to change their routine to get them to come into the place you're thinking of. Okay, so she is going outside again. I'm oh, sorry, going downstairs again. If I see her going into that office, I can do something about it. Um, and it looks like if I were wearing like a guard outfit, I could probably disguise myself, like be harder to notice by blending in sitting at that uh, chair. Oh, interesting. Okay, so she sees that spill as a distraction. So I could just shoot her through the window. Can I just shoot her through the window? Yeah. Rather than do anything uh, super difficult. Oh, she was in there with her. Crap. <laughs> Crap. I didn't see that there was a witness. Uh, I'm in big trouble. Wait, no, there's no body. There's nobody at all. No, 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 no. It's fine.
Oh, and my trap died. Well, that was a... That was a terrible way for this to go. No, that didn't, this didn't work at all. I forgot how to reload. How do you reload? Like that. That's how you reload. Okay. Okay, well, that I don't feel like that went very well, but I've learned some things. So, this time we're going to go back and load... Just, you're not going to go all the way back to the beginning. By the way, the load times, just pulling up the saved games, uh, it takes a while. Um, I'm not really sure why. I'm betting that maybe each of these saves is so huge because you have to save so much level state for the save to even work. I, I bet these files are just enormous. And even just finding and identifying the files, especially because each file also has a big screenshot as a part of it. Uh, I'm betting it just takes a while for them to find all of the files and, and get everything they need in order to show them to me. <laughs> so when I talked about not taking this guard out, Zarnathium is like, uh, yeah, don't take that guard out. He's, he's a terrible date. All right, yeah, sure. Oh, I can probably murder someone with a shovel. That's pretty cool. All right, so. She does come in here. That's good to know. Um, I didn't follow her path that she takes to get here, though. Is that okay? That's her leaving. And it looks like she, yeah. So I don't know if when she comes in here, she'll be the one that's killed by the trap if I lay the trap. One tough thing about streaming Hitman 2, another thing, is, is the fact that it's, um, uh, what am I trying to say? It's, uh, it involves a lot of waiting. You know, and, and so I've got this absolute horror of, uh, of boring people. And so I can't actually effectively do what I usually do when I'm playing this game, which is just wait around all the time uh, until the right thing happens. Because uh, if I do that, I'm just going to be terrified that I'm boring everyone. Okay, there's someone in the next room. Okay, so I know that she's going to go upstairs and then come downstairs. So once she goes upstairs, that's my cue to try to set that trap if I think that trap is likely to work. One problem is I don't know... Okay, she's headed upstairs now. So I don't know who the woman is who came into the room with her. Now, that's probably fine uh, because if this looks like an accident, it doesn't matter if there's a witness. Um, but still, it's, 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 it, feels, it feels more perfect if she dies in here in her office alone and no one ever comes in because I've already subdued that, uh, whoever it was, the, the, the secretary or whoever it was that came in and with her. But, okay, so she's talking to someone in that room. Is that someone the same person who's going to come down here with her? Okay, let's turn on the outlet. So that hopefully creates an electrocution opportunity over there. But I'm going to stick around here to make sure that's true. Oh, wait, she's still talking to that person up there. Okay, is she leaving now? The thing I'm worried about is that the puddle's going to dry up uh, <laughs> because I've been waiting here so long. If that happens, it's going to be very frustrating for us to try to get back in here. So Zarnathi, uh, you know, reminds me that one thing to do while waiting is uh, read chat. That makes a lot of sense. So yeah, so not Jim Artist says, I'm looking forward to Hitman 3 on the PS5. So I don't have a PS5, so I'm probably going to get Hitman 3 on the PS4 uh, because owning the previous games is key to it unlocking all of the levels using the, the latest version of the engine and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, <laughs> so I'm, I'm going to get it on the same platform I've gotten all the previous Hitmans on, which is the PS4. All right, so chats with him. But come on. I'm really worried that my puddle is already dried up. Okay, so she comes in. She looks over at the thing. And then gets electrocuted. <laughs> Crap! <laughs> well, that's not what I planned. That's not what I planned at all. 
Oh, she's horrified. Oh no. Oh no. What what's going to happen now? Oh. It's such a tragedy. Okay. I don't have a clean shot at the target. I would totally shoot it right now if that guy wasn't in the way. Is she just going to go and have her phone call now? <laughs> She's totally just going to go and have her... That is cold. Oh, and he's going to wrap her up in a body bag. Is he going to take her out? Oh, they've got a place to dispose of bodies here. Of course they do. Okay, well... this is Okay, this is actually a good opportunity because he's going to leave... Now, there's no witness. Oh, where's he taking the... Where's he taking the body? Over here by the garden? <laughs> Okay, sure. So I love it. So I'm pretty sure in earlier Hitmen, like they would just leave bodies lying around. Uh, like like very early Hitmen. I think because they did, just, you know, it's complicated to deal with bodies. But now if you kill someone in a way that doesn't feel like it disrupts the entire flow of the, uh, of the level, like, you know, if it doesn't, if it doesn't ruin everything, they're like, oh, well, you know, sure, someone died, but we've got to, uh, you know, continue business as usual then they just have places the ai like certain ai have the job to dispose of bodies and then they've got places to take the bodies and so you can make that part of your plan ah oh, that's great okay so let's uh let's definitely that's not the button to save let's definitely save so that wasn't the cleanest possible kill finding a way to kill her that looks like an absolute accident and it looks like nothing went wrong at all. Uh, that is the ideal. But for right now, for my first run through this level, uh, I say that's probably good enough. And actually, since we just took down one person, uh, I say this is probably a pretty good time to uh, to cut a video. So uh, I'm just gonna I'm gonna quickly uh, wrap this up. Uh, let's put up some videos. Let's uh, you know hit the subscribe button, all that stuff, uh, and then we're gonna go to try out try to take out our next target. I can't talk. Why can't I talk this morning?